supposed to be here. So I thank God that I made it. You're welcome, Stephanie. 14 years of pastorship. Amen. Amen. It's a man of God that prophesies. And it comes to pass. Amen. It's a man of God that encourages you. Amen. Sunday after Sunday. Yeah. I heard the last year said you can call him at any time of the day. <laughs> you got some preacher you can't call. <laughs> so we want to help this man of God celebrate his pastorship. Amen. Amen. For 14 years yeah. for walking and talking and praying and seeking yes, God Lord. for a word for the people of God. Amen. You know how hard it is? Amen. Glory to God. To, to, to get a word and God get up there, He change your word as soon as you get to the point. You know how it is, how hard it is to pray for people when you got issues in your own life? You know how hard it is when people call to you to pray for them and ask you, you need somebody to pray for you? Tell me, if you want to be blessed, you got 
to hark into the voice of the Lord. You gotta hark into the voice of the Lord. Bishop, I learned that people will listen to everybody else, but they won't listen to God. They'll call their best friend and get their advice, but they won't seek God for advice. They'll call their best friend, but they won't take advice from their leader. Why? Because they want people to tell them what they want to hear. Tell somebody, tell me the truth. If you want to be blessed, if you want to have a blessed life, I'm not talking about a blessed life and having all the money and all the cars, amen, that stuff type of stuff that come with it, amen? amen. But that's not with it. People say, don't put it up, say, amen. Seek first the kingdom of heaven, all the righteous, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. What a blessed life, amen. We are living holy and righteous before God. Amen. amen. The Bible said that he will hold no good things from those that walk up right before him. Amen. amen. What else it says? He said to observe and to do all his commandments. He said you got to observe and to do what? Uh -huh. See, we good at doing But I got to walk on the mother eight commandments. But tell somebody you got to do all. He told Joshua, he said, Joshua, meditate upon the word day and night. Yes. Yes. See, we only pick this word up on Sunday morning. Amen. Take a look at that for me. We only pick this word up on Sunday morning. If I open some of y'all Bible, it'll, go to the, it'll open up to the last page of Bishop Preach. <laughs> Some people put it in the back of their window and that's to get sunburned. But you got to open up this word. If you want to be preached to, open up the word of God. This word of God is a sure prophecy. Amen. It will preach to you. It will tell you man ought to always pray and not pray. It will tell you to pray, to, to, to pray and without ceasing. It will tell you that God will not put more on you than you can bear. Amen. 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 Got to do all. See, what we do, we say, well, I can't do all that. I know you can't, but the Bible tells us that we can do all things through Christ who strengthened us. Yeah. And I realize, hey, when people say they can't do it, if you don't try, you never will. Yeah. You would have never got saved if you would have came to church. Yeah. You would have never turned your life around if you would have just started going. You got to start somewhere. But they don't want to go through the process of trying to be blessed. Right. Right. Don't you know you got big ass that pay tithes? Right. Because they know the principle of giving. Yes. But we got church folk that know the word of God. Yes. Won't tithe. Yes. Amen? Yes. And they will be the one that said, Pastor, no more. church. Y'all want to be real? But you, you got to put something in this thing, baby. Amen. Hey, hey, <laughs> and even if you do pay tithes, and they say they don't have it. Hey, Amen. You heard people have been through this one, ain't you? <laughs> if you don't pay the church, they don't have it. They say, well, I appreciate it.
house of God. Don't try to use the people of God. Amen. See, they think once we get saved, we don't have no common sense. But we don't only have, have common sense, but we have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Sometimes we should know what you're going to ask before you get there. Because God had already shown you. Your Amen. Because we go, we get the wrong advice from people. Yes. Instead of coming to people who can pray for us Amen. in the spirit, oh, and get, I got a connection with God. Amen. 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 And sometimes we'll let it get so the best of us. We'll leave the house of God because so we say, I want to be real. I don't want to keep coming to church and not change. Keep coming, baby. God is going to deal with you. The Bible says that we all have sinned and came short of the glory of God. But if you keep coming, the closer you get to God, the more things will start dropping off. That's one of the things that you used to do. You find yourself not doing them anymore. Because the closer you get to God, you'll find you'll still find out these things do not please God. And if it don't please God, it shouldn't please you. Amen. I don't want Stella to call before I get through there. Somebody want to get Stella, amen. What it says. Amen. 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 I command thee this day that the Lord thy God, the Lord thou God, uh -huh. will set thee on high above all nations. God will set you upon high above all nations. All nations. This is, now, this is blessed. Go ahead, finish reading. Of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee. And overtake thee. These blessings are not just going to come on you, but yes. they overtake you. Yes. When, I saw, when I saw this man of God put up in that black doors ram, I said, The blessing of the Lord is overtaking him. Yes. Hallelujah. The reason I said that because people think that preachers don't supposed to have nice things.
I need God to work out some things like that. Yeah. Yeah. in a place where money can't help you. Sometimes this going to be a spiritual thing. Come on. Hallelujah. The reason that boy was running like he was running, y'all said that boy probably crazy. But I took him to a home yesterday when a young man was laying in the bed. Hallelujah. Was sick. My God. And he saw this man. Hallelujah. And when somebody said praise God, you got to get excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. Because somebody want to praise God and can't praise yeah. God. Yeah. Somebody laying on a bed right now wishing they can jump up and down and give God a praise. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So that's why that young man was running right now. Because somebody got legs and they can't move them. Mm. Somebody got on, but they can't throw them off. Mm. So while you got the activity of your leaders, yes, God, you want to give God a praise. Yes, you want to give God a praise. Yes. Don't be ashamed to praise God. Yes. Amen. If you hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, yes. Blessed shall I be in the city. You're going to be blessed in the city. And blessed shall I be in the field. And blessed shall I be in the field. And how many know that God don't break his promise? Amen. It's a covenant keeper. And God make a promise. Let me tell you something about a promise. A promise, hey amen, we make a promise. God is so almighty. When you make a promise, then you between two people has to agree on something, you know. You know, they, you know, a covenant, you know, commitment, you know. But when God makes it, God can speak it by Himself. Yes. Yeah. If God said we're going to be blessed in the city, yeah. when we come out of the city, you can trust God's word. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You don't have to say, God, did you really say that? Yeah. But you can trust God's word. Yeah. And He said He might not come when you want. Right. But he's always on time. Yes. See, that's when we mess up, Bishop. When God don't come when we want him. Yeah. But he's always on time. Oh, Finish reading this, and that's it. What's the last part of that? The fruit of the body. Look how blessed. The fruit of the body, yes. And the fruit of the ground. And the fruit of the cattle. Uh-huh, all the cattle. Yes. The increase of thy kind. Tell us I'm expecting the increase. I'm expecting the increase. Because I'm going to do the things that's pleasing to God. Amen. The Bible says his blessing add no sorrow. Yes. Come on. There you go. Amen. Amen. We try to do it all the way. Help us, Lord. Amen. Amen. It's going to be a struggle. Yeah. So God bless and add no struggle. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Let's thank God for Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 You want to be blessed? Bless the man of God. You want to be blessed? Bless the house of God. You want to be blessed? Do the things that are pleasing unto God. Amen? Amen. 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 All of your leaders. Respect leadership. Stop saying he's just a man just like me. And then what we say? He's anointed and appointed by who? God. He put his clothes on just the way I put my clothes on. But it's anointing that's placed on his life. That's right. That's right. I tell people, respect leadership. Yes, that's right. People get in trouble because they don't obey leadership. Yes. This man of God was placed in this house. These people of God, they man and woman of God, were placed on this house to lead God's people. Amen. Let this shepherd lead. Amen. Follow him. Amen? Amen. 
pray for him, we should pray for our leaders day. Amen? Amen? A lot of people want prayer, want things, but they don't pray for their own leaders. Make sure you pray and you encourage your leaders. Let them know how much you appreciate them. Not just for this day. Every day. Amen? Amen? Don't just wait to this day to bless them. But let them know that you appreciate him. You appreciate his wife. You appreciate your founder. That's the same. Let them know that you appreciate him. Amen? Amen. Amen. And if you do that, God is going to bless you. Amen? Amen. And one thing about it, you're not going to agree with everything that he says. But if it's in the word of God, mm-hmm. you can't fight against it. Just won't listen. Just won't follow the principle. But keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great work. Amen. Amen. Your prayers. Amen. Your commitment to God. Your study time. Amen. God is pleased. And I want to tell you congratulations. Keep doing what you're doing. Amen. God bless you, sir. And I love you. Thank you. 